from it. Wailing, what a great first round here at King or Williamsburg. Bogey free. How do you feel after your round today? I definitely feel really good, and uh, I didn't really think about this much, but I uh, had a good iron into the green today, and a couple, I mean, a lot of birdie chance. So I just kept waiting, and finally when I make a turn, um, like three birdies in a row on the back nine, which is uh, 12, 13, 14. So that three in a row really changed the score. <laughs> when did you start feeling like you you the momentum was going for you um actually i i feel quite the same from very first hole all the way to the 18 i just kept waiting i know my my feeling is pretty good right now even you know finish four in a row and then not not really a week off last week for me so i just keep a uh, simple and then just stay focused as i can what did you do last week if it wasn't a week off? Well, we're traveling on Monday, and uh, but I had a U.S. Open qualify on Thursday in Phoenix. So I, I try to fight with the jet lag, and uh, but it's really, really, really tired. I only slept, I will say, 20 hours in five days, so I don't get much sleep. So... I didn't really expect much this week. Just try to sleep and try to relax and just uh, yeah, play golf. <laughs> I'm mean, so tired. When you're so tired like that, what really helps you? Oh, sorry, Steve. No, question. Sorry. sorry after. No, um, when you're so tired, what helps you just keep that momentum going? I think I just need to recognize that you need a lot of break. Yeah. And you have to tell yourself, hey. You, you are tired and not just like, oh, I, I still got a tournament going on. I need to practice. I like hit a thousand ball in the range. That's, I think that's not, not the way I was looking for, but I feel like if I can sleep well, I can hit more like quality shot and I can uh, even have a clear mind. So I think recognize that it's really helping um, my body relaxing and recovering and also um, you know practice more like proper and like more decent. Steve? Well, I just want to understand you went from Taipei to Phoenix is that right? Uh, go, yeah, Thailand. From so Thailand? We play, from Thailand. Yeah, we play so in you Thailand. played in Thailand? Yes. And you went straight from Thailand to Phoenix? Yes. Got in on Monday? Yeah, I, sh I actually flew into L.A. I picked up my mom uh -huh. and drove all the way from L.A. to Phoenix. Okay. And you got in Phoenix Tuesday or? Uh, I got in uh, Wednesday. You, so you got two no, Phoenix? No, no, no. Uh, Tuesday, Tuesday. And then practice, practice round on Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah. But I'm not really playing practice round. I'm just too tired. I can't even swing. So I just get a car and just... Driving Drive around, around. Mm -hmm. yeah, hit some chips and putts a little, or not even chip and really? putt. I just look at at the course. <laughs> I've never been there, but right. I was so tired. I don't even want to leave from that golf cart. Yeah, I was just like, I can't do it. <laughs> and I need to play 36 hole on next day, so mm -hmm. I know I it's okay to you know just driving around. Sure. And so you finished late on Thursday. Did you catch a flight on Friday to here, or when did you come here? Actually, <laughs> I played the playoff extra hole, one extra hole for the alternate, first alternate. Uh -huh. And I made that pot, so I got, I got my first alternate, first alternate spot. And I had red eye <laughs> flight at that night, <laughs> which is like 11.05 something uh -huh. from uh, Phoenix to Charlotte. Uh huh. So I when I, by the time I got home, I was like, "Oh my god!" Because I only <laughs> slept two hour and played thirty seven hole and then red eyed, and then back home. Wow. <laughs> it just kind of wrecked for me. <laughs> yeah. And but, so are, are you are you you okay now? Have you had enough sleep now that you feel like you're back to normal? Uh. I'm not saying 100%, but mm -hmm. 
getting there. Good. A lot of times a player will play better when the expectations are low. Yes. And because you have been traveling so much mm -hmm. and you had the, the pressure of U.S. Open, did you come in with low expectations today? I think so, because mm -hmm. I didn't really set any goals. And uh, I had a good experience in Thailand and Singapore because when we oversee, it's really hot and high humidity. Mm -hmm. So. After 18 hole, you're always sweating and like hot. You can't really do anything on on the driving range or putting green. So I try to s take a break, like relaxing more after rounds. Mm -hmm. And I feel like it's actually feel pretty good mm -hmm. uh, when I'm in Thailand and Singapore. I spend a lot of time in the room mm -hmm. and I think it's recovering pretty good. I think that's the experience that I learned that I can take it with uh, using on last week or this week. And one of, I'm sorry, one last question. You, no a lot of players are, uh, they're having trouble adjusting to the transition from Thailand where it was very soft, mm -hmm. a lot of plug lies, you know, fly it to the flags, and here where it's very firm. Well, you had, a pl you had in between, you had Phoenix. So it, was the transition easier to this firm setup? I think you kind of just need to wash out all the memory you had in the course. Mm -hmm. So this is the new week. It mm -hmm. doesn't matter of, of last week. So what what you're gonna need to do is play well in this this course. Mm -hmm. It's not taking the memory from last week. It's not liking oh I'm have 150 shot into the green mm -hmm. and this week of fur I can't still taking the that number, I, maybe I need a five yard short, ten yard short. It's, you're not taking that. Mm -hmm. You are just, hey, it's what, what we should play right here, mm -hmm. right now at this shot. So I think if you rec recognize that, you can, you know, translation like get e even better, right? right? Thank you. Thank you so much. So bouncing off of that, which of the courses and the conditions would you say that you prefer? Ooh, I definitely prefer soft green because you don't need to adjust the number as hard. Like here, you might sometimes you take five five yards, sometimes you need to take ten yards because some of the holes are really really firm and you can't really go to the number. So do you so, find this course a little challenging? Yeah. <laughs> so just more conver conversation with Caddy, like how far I should go. But if in the soft green, you can just go at the pan, at the number, so it's kind of easy. And after a great round today, what are you, what's your goal for moving into the you know, final round? <laughs> like I said, I think sleep is very important right now. And even the front night I was taking, I was a little sleepy the first couple hole <laughs> too early. Well, I will let you go sleep. Thank you so much, Wei Ling. <laughs> Thank you so much. Wait, sorry, two questions in Mandarin.